triangulation between the shard, the gherkin and this new omphalus that's trying to rewire the psychogeography of London and undo the great energy lines and ley lines of Greenwich on the top of Greenwich Hill. This is the alternative thing and it's deeply sinister. Right beside the White Dora London Hospital in Whitechapel was a mound of this type. Um, that, that was an original earthwork, but it was built up at the time of the English Civil War as a defensive mound against the Royalists, and it stayed there until relatively recent times. Um, you, you could see pictures of people coming up and progressing around it in a spiral onto a group of trees on the summit and looking down at the river. And this was then demolished, but the sense of it is still there. Now they've put this one up to replace it. The foundations of London are based on these early mounds and the relation between the mounds and the geometric patterns that evolve. And obviously now that the Hawksmoor pattern, which you could have seen from the top of Greenwich Hill, has been obliterated by Canary Wharf, someone's got to set up a new system to replace it. So we'll, we'll link this to Silbury, to, Silbury Hill, to Beckton Alp, which is a mound of arsenic left over from the old gasworks, with a few shells left by Stanley Kubrick after restaging the Vietnam War. I think this, this that we're on is just, just rubble. It's, it's just the rubble of demolition. Did you see any of the uh, Kubrick uh, debris? Full metal? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I saw, found traces of old palm trees. Did you? There's, there's, a, there's a random park which I went through, with, did some filming with Chris Pettit. And we walked from Allgate Pump down to the sea and uh, we found this strange bit of parkland near, near Beckton Owl which had dying remnants and stubs of the palm trees that Kubrick had imported from Spain to create the sense of Vietnam in that landscape. And, and there were also big declivities that looked like the, the result of a battle. But whether that was the filming or whether that was traces of the Second World War, I don't know. But it was one of the most mysterious, and I, you'd have to say Ballardian landscapes that I know in London. Really it's kind of been overdone now by a big retail park area yeah. that's all grown up there. Because the, the A13 is like a cultural history of retail parks. So, so failed shopping malls litter it. It's quite interesting to see what is the afterlife of a failed shopping mall. Like immediately at Beckton Alp you have these this gigantic Woolworths which I took Will Self to one time. I was rather struck by it because it was it was made reminded him very much of America, which he spent quite a lot of time. It was on that scale, it was gigantic, but yet you, you actually could get a very good cup of coffee. <laughs> and a big collection of DVDs. It was really I liked it a lot and then it, it disappeared and all of those first generation shopping American style outlets were obliterated because you've got bigger and better ones a bit further down with the Sainsbury's and the other superstores and now they themselves are fading away because the, the era has gone. The, the, new, the new demographic just orders all their food online, all you need are warehouses. So you, uh, you get your stuff delivered and you go out shopping as a recreational activity to farmers markets and Broadway market and places on a Saturday morning so you can you know you can spend 20 or 50 quid on a few knickknacks for the table and the other shopping the hardcore shopping is just done online so the the whole mall is now redundant except as a place to have coffee and um, indulge in minor drug deals and crime you know that Westfield has got the highest incidence of uh, petty crime anywhere in London, Westfield Stratford, really? statistically. Yeah. What types of crime is it? Uh, the usual shoplifting, social nuisance, uh, drink, drinking, drug dealing, pissing against walls, uh, whatever, 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 all, all that kind of uh, fights, gang wars, all, all that stuff has been drawn into the magnet of that 
place because it's it's a huge social cultural hub and it's, you know ev all transport is leading you in there so inevitably it becomes the place to hang out